Hello everyone and welcome to the Versus series featuring Brad Nelson and Todd Anderson. Hi guys. This is when we have like the like the in studio applause track like <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> this is uh this is a good moment for us because we not only get to play the concept arc here, but we have the cards. It feels Yay. so good. You don't have to look at our scribble and me, you know, spelling things incorrectly. Oh yeah. I, yeah. And making little, or no, like BBD making little inside jokes on all the the proxies, but only uh, we can see them because of the yeah. tiny writing on the little piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. But uh, today we've got two really cool decks for you. A j uh, not junk, sorry. It's good. Obzon. I have to get Obzon for kids, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> an Obzon token deck based around High Sentinels of. Ashaban? It's right here. I know. High Sentinels of Arashkaban. Arash I was trying to use my memory. Arashkaban. Arashkaban. Uh, and so let's take a look at that, and Somebody then we'll get to Todd's Mono Red deck. Somebody calls serious. <laughs> All right. So the idea about this deck is to make uh, High Sentinels of, of Arashan as good as possible. Now, what I just want to start real quick. Brad said tokens, but really this is a plus one, plus one Counters, not really tokens. They're so both tokens and ever. They're, they're dice. They're they dice. Go, they go on things. That's true, and you can use dice for tokens. So lawyered. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we've got four Elvish Music, four Carotid as our just core of acceleration. And now a deck like this is going to want some acceleration uh, when you are uh, trying to play a lot of these spells. But if you look at our, our Converted Mana Cost, it's pretty dense. Like we have Fleece Mane on two, Coursers. Uh, Ascendancies, Asben Charms, and Oblivion Ring. So we have uh, good turns to like play our tap land since we have ten of them. Yeah, I mean that that sounds all right. I guess like I, I can probably see like a reasonable number of draws that feature like a tap land, a Mystic, and then like another land, and then you untap with like three or four mana. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I I would like to see like a few more like two mana removal spells. Um, I'm a pretty if you could. I'm a pretty good fan of, uh, oh man, I can't, I, I've always forget, not, it's the two mana Oblivion Ring, Suspension Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to play that main deck because of a card called Ravel Master. Well, yeah, and I mean, just, it would not be great against my deck. Yes, <laughs> um, but, uh, so the core of the deck is trying to make uh, High Sentinels great. So we not only have uh, Abzan Ascendancy, uh, but we have Azam Charm and Ajani. Mm. And now all, all three of these different cards can just come into play and make him a, an immediate threat right away. So... Uh, the curves that I'm trying to accomplish are like play a couple of my early guys, uh, play high sentinels. Now, if I don't have anything to do with my mana and I have a bunch of mana guys, I have the ability, right? Now, this is a township ability. Yes, you can kill this guy, and if he's not in play, it's not like a Gavany township. But with a bunch of mana acceleration, and you run out of things to do, especially with Courser sometimes. You just do, and like this card can give you something to do. Yeah. But at the same time, it helps us not only trigger our wingmate rocks, but uh, lets us blow our opponents out by just playing an Abzan Ascendancy or Abzan Charm giving two of our guys bonuses, like attacking with a Corsair and this guy, and giving both of them a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, and then it gives this guy a plus two, plus two, which is pretty awesome. Or just a plus one, plus one. He doesn't well, count himself. Well, for each guy, though. So if you target two guys, you target... Two different this. guys, yeah. Yeah, so if you, like, you know, Obzon Charm giving the Corsair and the Fleece Mane line a counter, mm -hmm. this guy becomes a 5-6, like, mid-combat, and that's yep. pretty huge. So. Uh, another, like, sweet play that I can make, uh, <laughs> and I'm testing one Ajani out, uh, is that you can just go Accelerant into an Accelerant, into this guy, and then if you play an Ashani, you can just give all three of them a counter and attack for six in the air with this guy. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's still a normal control deck. We've got uh, some Elspeths to go along with the strategy. And then three Sorns to be the, the punch out against a lot of aggressive decks. Yeah, I mean, I, I can only imagine how difficult it is for a Sorn plus one and just attacking with the high sentinels of Ration. Uh, that, that just seems like I'm never going to beat that. So. Yeah, and, and there's even like other amazing things you can do where it's just like, you plus one, you attack with like eight power, gain eight life, and you just have a, a one three carry to it on defense, so you yeah. have another chance of gaining life. Um, I've seen this card do a lot of impressive things, and I'm really glad to be playing it. It's, it's a weird sequence. Against mid-range decks, it's like the first spell you play and get a, get value out of it. Mm -hmm. Against a lot of the aggressive decks, it's the last card you cast, and you just uh, gain a bunch of life. But other than that, uh, I'm on three charms for the fact that I wanted to try one cut instead of playing too many... Uh, Three mana removal spells. Yeah, I wanted I mean, something that could potentially be on turn six, a big spell plus. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a tempo play, right? Like yeah. yes, like it's, you're not going to be able to cast it for less than like three early in the game, but 
on the the late game uh, when when your opponent has killed a creature or two and you fetch once or twice, you're gonna get to be able to double spell killing their best creature and playing like a planeswalker at the same time, or even a wingmate rock, or even just a uh, monstrous fleece main line since you have so many mana sinks, you get to do a lot of stuff. So. Yep. But uh, let's go take a look at the cyber real quick, and then we'll get to Todd's mono red deck. Yeah. No. No. All right, so on the sideboard, uh, we'll start with the cards that you're going to see in action today, which is Nyx Fleece Ram and Hornet's Nest. Now, I don't know if Hornet's Nest is that good, but it also seems very good against these aggressive red decks, especially with Rabble Master, like, forcing creatures to attack, so then it just it gets worse, so they're, they're forced to, like, Searing Spear or Lightning Strike it or something. Uh, there are ways to make creatures not block, but you have to use those immediately. Cut up. This is my face. I don't want to play as Hornet Nest. <laughs> yeah, and and I think red decks are going to be really good in the format. So like I, I wanted to experiment and see how good this card actually could be. Yeah. Uh, against the the slower decks in the format, we have two Reclamation Sages uh, to go along with the Utter Ends and the Removal Spells against potentially uh, decks that are overindulging in uh, um, Banishing Lights or any Constellation decks, which I've seen some decks look pretty good in Constellations. Yeah, I agree. And it's really good against any deck trying to change the rock or something like that. Like it's, it's got a lot of applications. Like I think it's possible that card's main deckable just because of like the fact that Corsair Crufix exists. Yeah. And like even if they're not playing Corsair Crufix, there's probably some enchantment they're gonna play, and it's still a reasonable sized body for three mana. And the removal got a lot worse in the format alongside uh, no Gore Clans for like the the mirrors. So like Corsair becomes much better in the green mirrors, but because John Monsters took over the the, the Corsair slot in the mm. format. Like, you couldn't really play situational cards. They had to just be Doomblades to kill Pelucranos because they can just Gore Clan and Dragon you. Yeah. And so you get, get a little bit more room to breathe. Now, we, we have four Thoughtseize to help out against any of the mid range control decks. There, there are going to be some tough matchups out there that run like Ashiok or uh, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff that's going to suck. And then that's going to complement our, our Nissa World Wakers because if you get your opponent a little attritioned out, just a couple turns of Nissa just ends the game. Yeah. You just want to make sure that the turn that it comes into play, it's not going to die. And uh, that's what the Thoughtseize are there to help for. So you don't really want your, you don't need to Thoughtseize too early in most games. This is more of a late game play. You play alongside another spell. Yeah, I mean, it seems fine. Like, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of sequences with with your lands coming in and play tapped where, uh, you know, if you have a Mana Accelerator somewhere, you're going to get to play, like, another Mana Accelerator and a Thoughtseize early on. Yeah. And then that's going to leave you wide open for your, like, five or six drops. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sure. But, uh, and then two other ends for the fact that uh, Downfall is a little difficult to cast in a deck like this. Oh, yeah. I mean, hell, I almost was going to play the three colorless green, black, uh, negative two, negative two, the, that Drown and Cyro. That card seems good. I mean, it doesn't I mean, seem against, terrible. I mean, against Rabble Master decks, it just kills all my guys, and you gain, like, five life. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems really good. It could be really good, yeah. uh, but I, I, I was experimenting with the Hornet's Nest. Sure. I mean, Hornet's Nest, I don't want to play against that card, man. <laughs> I just... <laughs> mm. Ugh. All right. Well, All right. well, we're gonna find out how good it is, but uh, we're gonna take a look at Todd's deck and show you all the ways that his cards say don't block. Yeah, yeah, I don't block. Well, I might, might not block. either. Eh, he's not gonna block. 